everybody, I'm Nick, and yes, you read the title right. You should stop using Fluent Accessions right now, and if you don't stop using it and you upgrade to version 8, you have to pay $130 per developer to use it, which is crazy. This just happened. I'm going to cover it in this video and let you know everything there is to know about this situation. So, in case you don't know, Dennis Doman is the developer of Fluent Sessions, has always been, and yesterday he announced that, that with the release of Fluent Sessions 8, this version is in collaboration with Exceed Software, which is a company that sells software, and this milestone marks the beginning of an exciting partnership for him, I guess, for nobody else, literally, that brings together our vision of Fluent Sessions with Exceed Decades of Experience in .NET tools. Now, in case you don't know, I didn't either before this announcement, Exceed is a company that sells .NET related tooling for WinForms, WPF, now unit testing with Fluent Sessions, as well as other .NET stuff. And there's nothing wrong with this, but I do think there is something wrong with having a free Accession library, which is just a convenience library, ultimately, and then charging $130 per developer for it after you are the most popular Accessions library. And there's nothing wrong with charging for products, but I can guarantee you Fluent Accessions would never be where it is today if from the beginning it was a free product. And it also feels like a big bait and switch. Basically, Dennis just sold the rights, the, the copyright of Fluent Accessions to exceed. He doesn't own the copyright of the library anymore. It is owned by Exceed, which is a Canadian company. And I know this because I reached out to him and he confirmed he does not own the rights, which basically means, and that's speculation because he wouldn't confirm or deny any of what I'm saying now, but I think Dennis is getting royalties, he's getting a cut per seat or per license sold for Fluent Accessions, and he will keep working on it, by the way, so he doesn't abandon the project. He wouldn't specify the details of how the deal works, but I'm assuming he keeps working on the project while getting royalties per sale that Exceed is making. And as you can imagine, the feedback has been terrible because this is a terrible, terrible move. This happened yesterday with a PR that was merged into the main branch. As you can see, reactions are terrible. No description provided, no nothing. It just happened. And there's tons of comments here criticizing this. No, sorry to chip in. I just noticed that the Apache 2.0 license mentions were completely removed. And it was. It was now changed with a completely new license, which is a custom one. It is free for non-commercial use as defined over here, which means it's used for developing or testing open source project or open source software. It is used for developing or testing personal or experiment projects and is not used by an organization or group of persons, legal entity or company that charges fees or ends revenues with or without the intention to make profit. So uh, the way I read it, I'm not a lawyer, but the way I understand this is even if you're a non-profit, you still have to pay that fee. Basically, every developer in your company, if you were paying them 2,000 euros, now you have to ultimately pay them 2,130, okay, with a conversion, but you get the point. Every developer in your company now just got way, way more expensive, and the resulting work and testing the software is not sold, list or supply, whatever. Ultimately, you can use it for non-profit, non-commercial use, but if you have to use it as a commercial company, which is, you know, me, Dome Friends, a commercial company, my YouTube channel is a commercial company, I now, if, if I want to use Fluent Sessions 8, I have to pay a license, which, by the way, I won't. And I'm going to talk about alternatives later in this video. And if you need to buy a license, you just go here, you say, okay, I have my company, the last one I was working, had 500 developers using Fluent Sessions. So I have to go here, add to cart, check out, and buy 500 licenses at $65,000. Crazy. I insane. Of course, if you have this type of volume, I would expect you can actually reach out to them and strike a better deal. But even then, this is ridiculous for an assertion library that is basically feature complete. What are you going to need after s version 7? There's really not much. Now, if you're in Fluent Sessions 7 version, do not upgrade to 8. Stay on 7. Pin that version. And by the way, I know this is too late in the video, but in case you don't know what Fluent Session does, is it changes the traditional assert that or assert 
equivalent or um, yeah here equivalent and then you have your expected which in this case in my test will be created customer and then the actual will be customer response so you replace this line with this line because it reads better which i mean is that worth 130 dollars per developer the per developer licensing is stupid nobody was able to read the room nobody did any market research yes per seat pricing works in software in general but this is not figma this is not adobe photoshop this is fluent assertions this is ridiculous for something like this so if you're using fluent assertions let's go here do not i repeat do not upgrade to version 8 stay at version 7 and by the way if you want to pin it what you can do is you can go into your program.cs over here find fluent assertions and add these square brackets here if you do that at least in visual studio i don't know if it actually works on rider we're going to find out right now it works on rider too it removes the ability to just say auto update to latest if you did something like this with um the upgrade packages in this directory because now you pinned it to that specific version so it will upgrade everything else but this do this because if you don't do it you will basically accidentally be liable for legal reasons to have to buy a license the comments here are very critical and i think it is valid the previous license was an apache v2 which means that this code will have to stay on that version and it's a perpetual worldwide non-exclusive license meaning you can keep using it in version 7 and don't worry about any future license changes because it is irrevocable so don't worry if you want to use 7 use 7 however and this is not a library i liked i preferred the design of fluent sessions just a tiny bit more but for 130 dollars more i don't care the shouldly is perfect shouldly is fine give it a star on github link in the description it does the exact same thing points should be whatever same thing for free so yeah don't bother paying for something like this this is ridiculous even on reddit this was posted yesterday you know now we have to pay for this i love fluent sessions but uh, and use it heavily but 130 dollars per seat is pretty wide for a library that helps you write nicer sessions yes read the room I, I don't get it nobody with a brain cell was able to understand that this is not the right pricing i'm not saying don't make it paid if you want to make it paid but have something that the pdf libraries have or some other libraries have which is a fixed fee for organization or maybe for the size of organization have a pro up to 10 members have a, an enterprise up to 100 members and then have a custom pricing but this is crazy valid comment by the way gentle reminder that you can reduce your dependence on third-party packages by deleting all tests great advice sounds like a good time for a community to fork it off i highly doubt anyone will, will fork version 7 maybe for a bit but usually when things like this happen you have a fork and then the fork just dies so don't assume that anything like this will actually happen best comment in here <laughs> who thought that's a good idea oh. and the funny thing is that we're at the time where i see a lot of criticism of fluent accession and fluent uh, libraries in general so bad timing i guess anyway that's all i wanted to cover here don't upgrade to version 8 consider staying at 7 consider migrating to shouldly if you really like that type of sessions but i don't think that the way this is priced or promoted is good so ridiculous situation probably gonna be changing but even the fact that it happened in the first place keep an eye on this but i do recommend you start moving away shouldly is there v7 is there it has more than anything you will ever need and that's all i have to say on the matter but now i wonder from you what do you think about this leave a comment down below and let me know well that's all i have for you for this video thank you very much for watching and as always keep coding